Hello and welcome to Accumulate, the game show where things can quickly add up. I'm your host Daniel Peake and beside me in the red and the blue are two teams who really should know better. Accumulate is of course the cult game show internet web sensation. At least I think that's what I heard them say. This week's teams are Why So Cirrus? But first let's introduce House of Fraser with Fraser. Hello, my name's Fraser and I'm a, uh, a first year graphic communications uh, student and uh, I can solve a Rubik's Cube blindfold. That's impressive. And here's Charlotte. Um, hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm a first year classics and archaeology student. I'm from London. <laughs> Is that your interesting fact that you're from London? <laughs> Definitely. Right, over to Nick, the team captain. Hello, my name's Nick. I'm a first year meteorology and climate student and I'm not from Birmingham. Now that one is an interesting fact. Thank now you. here's the meteorologically themed Why So Cirrus, starting with Emma. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a master's student studying meteorology and I have a twin. Over to Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a master's student as well and I'm from Ireland. Lots of geographically themed ones. <laughs> Alex, where are you from, team captain? Uh, I'm from South West London, which oh. is quite exciting. Um, oh, and I do the same degree as these two. That's right. That was so interesting, I think we'd better start the quiz. I'm going to give each team five questions. Number one's worth one, number two's worth two, and so on, until number five is worth five. We had a coin toss before we started the game, and the blue team lost, and as we say, you lose, you choose. You can choose a category. They're both general knowledge questions, but would you like pine or cone? Pine or cone? Should we go for cone, then? Cone. Cones! You're going to get five general knowledge questions on geometric shapes. You look thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fraser, you're going to get the first question for one point. Which okay. London Underground line is coloured yellow? Uh, um, think geometric shapes. Is it a cone shape? It's not. It's the, cir know. the circle line. Um, I don't know if you've ever written the cone line on the London Underground line. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Uh, it's the circle line, except it's not a circle, which I find okay. irritating. Thanks, Fraser. Sorry. There's no circle around London. But it's not a circle on the map. Never mind. <laughs> for two points, Charlotte. Uh, what name is given to a public building used for the confinement of criminals? A prison. Yes, prison. But um. <laughs> for three points, Nick. Well done, by the way. That was a difficult one. Havana is the capital of which country? Cuba. Yes, Cuba. Cuba. Question four for four, your team can now confer. Opened in the 1970s and with a capacity of approximately 1,200, what is the name of the Central Reading Arts Venue and Theatre? Any ideas? The View. That's the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea? Um, I probably know it. I'm going to hurry you. No, I don't I've got know. no idea. It's the hexagon. Mm. It's excited hexagon. Finally, for five points, which cartoon character lives at 124 Conch Street in Bikini Bottom? SpongeBob Sponge Sponge SquarePants. Square yeah. so you don't know the London Underground, but you do know SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> well done, Fraser. That's right for five <laughs> points. <laughs> they had cone. You will have pine. Something in the answers will relate to trees. For one point, Emma. That's the plug. Uh, in which dance would you put your left leg in, your left leg out, in, out, in, out, and shake it all about? The hokey. The Okie Koki, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, that is the quality of my jokes. I do <laughs> For two points, Sarah. In the UK comedy series, who played Mr. Bean? That's so easy. Rowan Atkinson. Rowan is a type of tree, Atkinson. And yes. Fraser, you're complaining, get the first five questions right for the point. every other one. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all say. Promise. For three points, Alex. What day in the Christian calendar comes after Shrove Tuesday and is before the first day of Lent? Ash and Wednesday. Sorry, Ash Wednesday is right and is yeah. the first day of Lent. For four points, you can now confer which song, the second most popular in the English language according to the Guinness World Records, contains the line, and so say all of us, and so say all of us. For he's a jolly good fellow, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, for he's a jolly good fellow. Fur, he's a jolly good fellow, yes. Yeah. The fur tree. You fell as well, because you fell a tree, don't you? <laughs> I'm being outpunned. <laughs> For five points. Uh, which boy band formed in the 1960s has had hits with God Only Knows, I Get Around, and Good Vibrations? The Beach, the beach Boys? Beach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beach Boys. Beach Boys is <coughs> correct. 
At the end of that round, both teams are on respectable scores. The blue team are on 10 points, which is fantastic. But somehow the red team have a clean sweep with 15. Yeah. 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 Round two is Speculate to Accumulate. Accumulate is, of course, sponsored by Eclectic Games, opposite the post office in Market Way in Reading for all your gaming needs. I must admit I go there quite often and the staff are indeed eclectic. <laughs> Very useful, though. I do it all the shop. We're going to be giving you six things, though. One of them is a red herring. You must work out which one is the red herring, remove it, and put the other five in order. All within 45 seconds. Easy peasy. You lose, you choose, meaning the blue team, House of Fraser, you're going to be choosing the category. Would you like thanks or hanks? Thanks. Thank you. House of Fraser, starting with the earliest in the year, can you put these annually celebrated American days in order? And remember that one item does not belong to the list, so that's a red herring. You've got 45 seconds starting now. Right, earliest. Uh, uh, start January, isn't it? Uh, I think, isn't Grand Day? It's winter. Yeah, Thanks so Thanksgiving days before it. No, thanks, so Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving days. In, it's not November. 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 Independence Day is July the 4th. Thanksgiving is before, that's October, that's November. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. No? It's Veterans Day, it's like... Veterans Day, is that... So, that's January? I'm, I'm late January. Are you so sure that these two aren't swap round? We're not sure when to grab That's it's it's in winter. Well, so is so this one. Yeah, but which one comes first? We don't know. Um, I think Grand Hotel is in like December. Maybe it should be down. Ten seconds. I, I think it's. I think it's. No, early. it's. it's, 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 it's before, before before this one. Bye. Do we swap these? Do we swap these? No. No, leave it. Leave it. Okay. Time. Okay. Lots of debate. I appear to have Mother's Day here, so I'm assuming this is your red hair. That's our red hair. Okay, I'll put that there. So what is your first day in the year? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, Groundhog day is correct. It's yes. February the 2nd. Thank Next. Mm -hmm. in, in, what's that say? Inauguration day. day. Inauguration Day is wrong, mm. I'm afraid. It's the red herring. Yeah. Inauguration Day is not annual. It only happens when they put a new president in. The next one, which yeah. should have been Mother's Day. Yeah. And that's the second that Sunday in May. Yeah. Next. Independence Day. It's correct, July the 4th. Next. Thanksgiving. It's not, it's Veterans no, Day, I'm afraid. No. And then, of course, last you've got Veterans Day. It's Thanksgiving Day. Not good. Uh, yeah. Veterans Day is November the 11th. Thanksgiving is later in November. You've got two in the right place, meaning three points. Yeah. Why so serious? Take this seriously. I'm going to give you six movies. Please, starting with the earliest, put these movies starring Tom Hanks in the order they were initially released. Remember, one item doesn't belong to the list, and your 45 seconds starts now. Okay, I think Independence Day wasn't in. Okay. So that's what I'll do. Uh, then, big, um, yeah, then Da Vinci Code's the most recent. Yeah. Uh, big, I reckon, is his first one, or one of his early ones. Yeah. Colin the Turner. And I, I don't know, I've never even heard of that film. Mm. And is he definitely in it? He, well, he really isn't an independent proof. He might not. He might be. Uh, but me. I know Big made him famous, but I don't know if like these. But maybe films. that was. Yeah, before. exactly. He could. Have. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's near McKinley. Upper Redlands Road. There we go. That's, that's somewhere that people at Reading University will know and no one else in the world will know. Good stuff. Right. Let's get on with your 90 seconds. And before we start, I'll just check that you're ready. Good, good. And I will apologise for the first question that I uh, will ask, because it's exactly the same as a question I asked last week. But last week, I accidentally gave them the incorrect answer. So this week, I'm going to give you the right answer. Here we go. Your 90 seconds start now. Which of these countries extends furthest south? Australia or New Zealand? Australia. No, it's New Zealand. Complete the name of this book by E. Nesbitt. The Railway... Children. Children. Correct. Build the first layer of the tower. One cup, no, one plate. <laughs> plate on the cup, not the other way around. Uh, as of the 4th of January 2011, what is the rate of VAT? 20%. It is. Two layers. Whose autobiographies have included Is It Me and Mustn't Grumble? Oh, That's nice. Terry Wogan. In the nursery rhyme, what sort of animal scared Little Miss Muffet? A spider. You did. Do you like spiders? They're okay. They eat flies. Fair enough. <laughs> How many points is the blue ball worth in snooker? Six. No, it's five. In the medieval legend, how is the chalice Christ is said to have used at the Last Supper better known? The Holy Grail. It is. Indiana Jones wanted it. Dun, 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 dun. Take it off. Make a new towel, make a new towel. Take the cup off the Just make a new towel. If the number two is on the upwards face of a die, what number is on the bottom? Four. No, it's five. In The Simpsons, what is the name of the shop a cool runs? Cookie Mart. Yay! I see you spend your time wisely working. Uh, in Germany, what kind of food is a bratwurst? Sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Ten yeah. seconds. Just, just put it on the screen. Where does the last night of the proms traditionally take place? The um, Royal Apple Hall. Correct, you've not got much time. Oh, yeah, time's out, out apparently. Yeah. Oh, can we put it on? Yeah, no. we got that uh, one. Please. We got no, that one. time's out. I wasn't paying no. attention to the time. I'm sorry. You've got two towers of three uh, layers each. That's six for each tower. That's 12 points. This is quite... Why so serious? Try and reach the stratosphere with your tower. <laughs> your 90 seconds begin now. The Ivy League are a group of elite universities in which country? America. Yes, I would accept. United States of. In mathematics, a Google is number one followed by how many zeros? Lots. Uh, yes, more specifically. <laughs> more than one. A hundred. Uh, which cartoon's main characters live in Spooner Street? A family guy. Yes, and feel free to build the layer after you answer the question. <laughs> I'll let you off this time. Which British monarch is said to have been not amused? Uh, I'm not amused! Victoria? Yes. Yes. Come on. I'm glad you didn't make me repeat that. So I'll the third layer. There you go. In the periodic table, neon, krypton and argon are what type of gas? Uh, um, I'll accept actually. Noble. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Next one. Yeah. How many innings are there in a standard game of baseball? I don't know, four? Nine. Uh, it's nine, but four is the first answer. On the London Underground, what colour is the Hammer City and City? Pink. Hammersmith and City line? Pink. Yes. It's okay, Alex. In the movie, what is the predominant colour of each avatar? Blue. Blue. Correct. That's five seconds. What is the currency of Portugal? Lira. No, it's the Euro. <laughs> and. <laughs> is that five seconds? Oh, that's time. I really should look mm. at the clock more, don't you think? <laughs> but anyway, the results are the same. You've got two towers, each with three layers somehow, despite the fact that you must have tweaked gravity or something. <laughs> Another 12 points for you. And the scores at the end of that round, 25 to House of Fraser, but 42 to Why So Serious. Whoop! Yay! Yay. <laughs> round four, the super accumulator. Loads of points can be won and indeed lost in this round. The scores are relatively close, so either of the two teams could win. Ten questions are going to be asked. It's fingers on buzzers. Buzz and get it right, you get the question. The points for that question. One for one, two for two, up the way up to ten for ten. But buzz in, get it wrong, you're going to lose those points and I'll hand it over to the other team. So it could be quite a hefty penalty. Last week we had double trouble where all the answers had a repeating element, so be glad I didn't ask a question on the dick dick antelope. This week we have questions called baked to perfection. Something in the answer will relate to terms in bread and bread making. 
Ten questions, fingers on buzzers. Here we go, one for one. Written in scripts as annoyed grunt. What sound does Homer Simpson make when something goes wrong? Nick? Doe. Doe is correct. That's one point. See, you're catching up already. <laughs> Question two for two. What word goes with pins to make a common, common way of saying you have parathesia, which is felt when a limb falls asleep? Emma? Needles. Needles, yes. Need being the bread-making term. Question three. If the sun sets in the west, from what direction does the sun rise? Nick? East. Yes, the east. The east. <laughs> you, you give that joke far too much credit. <laughs> Four points. In nature, what name is given to an adult male swan? No. It's a cob, which is a type of roll. For five points, sitting above the mantle, what name is given to the outer shell of the earth? Nick. Crust. It is the crust. Oh, nice one. For five points. Now, here are the high value points for six points. What name is given to the manoeuvre used to write a capsized kayak? It's a kayak or Eskimo. Roll. Simply roll. <laughs> Question seven. What name does the dog have that is owned by the Darling family in Peter Pan? Emma. The nurse? No. It's not nurse. You lose seven points. Do you want to try and win some? I don't know. It's Nana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> For eight points. What is the name of the anthem used by Scotland in the 2010 Commonwealth Games? I think this one's a tough one. It's Flower of Scotland. Flower. For nine points. What game, similar to pinball and skittles, is derived from billiards and involves getting balls past wooden pegs into holes using a cue? Shark. Crochet? No, I don't knit bread. Um, never mind. Anything over here? So you've lost nine points. It's Bagatelle. Bagatelle. <laughs> that was a preliminary question. Finally, for uh, a question which I may have written in the other question set, not because he doesn't know anything about Harry Potter. In the Harry Potter series of books for ten points, who is the seeker of the Bulgarian national Quidditch team and chosen champion of Durmstrang in the Triwizard Tournament by the Goblet of Fire? Alex. Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb yeah, is yes. correct. <laughs> lost anyway, really. And that's the end of the quiz. And just before I reveal the final scores, I will mention that we are sponsored by Eclectic Games opposite the post office in Market Way for all your gaming needs. Their website is www.eclecticgames.co.uk and they've sponsored the grand prize for the winners. But we have some losers here as well, I'm afraid. With 25 points, which isn't quite the winners, 47. 25 points goes to House of Fraser. Taking defeat on the chin, but taking the winning on the chin, it's Why So Serious. <laughs> and so we don't want you to leave empty handed, so we have a prize for you. So last week I meant to give out these to the previous team, which are those little things that you put on the table, they pop inside out Ooh. and do that. They're not your prize, sorry. Oh. You get, Yay, you get these little stretchy aliens. Here we are, so <laughs> pull that. Mm, yep. Wow. And we have a blue one, a red stretchy alien, and a yellow stretchy alien. Oh. Thank you very much. Don't Thank say you. we don't treat you well. It's really nice. <laughs> right. Your halls of luxury. You must be luxurious if you think it's not. Yeah. Uh, you can't use that comment because they're living in a new hall. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not. It's not really it's old. old. It's not okay. really old. Well, you still can't. 20 years old. Look at that. You're going to break <laughs> it. Good size. Do right. you like stretching your men out? <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I think we'll say goodbye to Team House of Fraser. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Why so serious? We'd like to have you back, but for now, goodbye. See ya. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me, Daniel Peake. I'll see you accumulator.